just getting a little wistful now that Pope's almost closed. I'm thinking to myself, geez, what's gonna happen next in here, you know? Luckily, I do know, and here's what it is. The next show is aptly titled K.A.W.L. Presents It's a Wonderful Life, a radio play written for the stage by Jim Presley Martica II. It's going to be a great show. Tonight is the very first rehearsal. Enjoy it. I play Melanie Peters, the stage manager of the radio station. Okay. I play Michael Anderson. He owns the radio station, therefore he is the best. And then, follow-up question. Yeah. What roles do your roles play in the play within a play? Sammy? I will go first. I play Mary Hatch. Stage set, meaning the mic's turned on, uh, the, the, the tree's lit, the script's distributed, and the prop set, everything has to be perfect for Michael. Rain. For tonight. God, there's so much to do. Oh, I play George Bailey. Oh. That's my Jimmy Stewart impression. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Who, who, who let the guests in? Uh, hi, everybody. Uh, you've come now. We, we are not quite ready yet, but we'll be in just a moment. Thank you. Really Dead on. He's not I'm totally going to do that. <laughs> oh. um, Sammy, what is the thing that you are most excited about in this show? I'm excited about the time period that takes place in the 40s. Um, so I'm really excited to get to live in the 40s for a month. Awesome. Lee? I'm excited to show Jim Martica, the writer of the show, how to act. <laughs> Never mind, that's what I'm most excited for. Right. So both of you are going to show Martika how it's done. Yep, basically. Okay, and are you, there are two casts this year, mm -hmm. alternating nights. Are you in the red cast or the green cast? Green. Green. Green and green. Yeah, we're both. Okay. And can you tell us now, insider info, which cast is superior? Green. 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 By green. a little or a lot? Green. Cast uh, is by by all of the In fact, we're so superior that the other cast will be green with envy. Ooh! Yeah, call out. Slow down. That's it. Just so you guys know, too, um, I'm in the red cast. Yeah, we know. Yeah. So, uh, we know. Yeah. 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 I'm playing Franny in the green cast. Right. Well, hey! And nobody here to greet me either. Great. Real professional. And Franny then plays which characters on stage? She plays Mrs. Bailey and Mrs. Hatch, the moms. Uh, and then one point she plays Tommy, a little boy, which is fun. And um, what are you most excited about in the show? Oh my gosh, well I'm excited about a lot of things. The whole radio aspect of it, I love that, being able to play a bunch of different characters and use a lot of voice acting and just like, you know, it's a classic, awesome story. So like, put that all together and it's going to be like, I just think it's going to be so much Fun to do, and, like, really awesome show. Yeah. Aaron, oh, so how many times have you directed this show? This is my fifth time directing It's Wonderful Life, the fourth time with this version. It's awesome. And oh, because the first time it was with. It was a different version right. that we did, yeah. All right, so but Jim wrote this one. Um, what is it that keeps bringing you back? It's a lot of fun. It gets everybody in the holiday spirit right away. It brings almost all of our company together for one show. Um, it's almost all company members, which is a great time for us to have a lot of fun together. And it's great to see audience come back year after year and uh, just know how much they love coming to see the show. There are people that followed us. We moved to theaters last year and they followed us over here. And uh, they made it part of their holiday tradition. So we're going to keep doing it for them. And you can make it part of yours also. Coming soon. It's a wonderful life. Thank you, Erin. All right, thanks for watching, everybody. Check out Theater Unleashed website to find out more information about It's a Wonderful Life. It's going to be coming really soon. Um, have a good evening. See you next time. Help my son George tonight. He never thinks about himself, God. That's why he's in trouble. George is a good guy. Give him a break, God. I love him, dear Lord. Watch over him tonight. Please, God. Something's the matter with Daddy. <laughs> <laughs>